Sometimes we don't talk about underclassmen a lot, but you've got some freshmen that are coming up that really look good to me in last Thursday's practice when I saw them throwing the ball especially. We, we do have a good freshman group, and uh, it, interesting that you observed uh, some of our uh, uh, offensive and defensive linemen out throwing the ball around. I thought they were juniors or seniors. Well, they they're, were that they're, big. <laughs> they're big, strong kids, very athletic, and, and they've done a fine job. They – uh, they were seven and one as eighth graders, and they they have one loss this year in overtime to a very good Bishop Kelly team. And uh, this week, uh, Tuesday, they uh, they beat Grove in ninth grade game, and Grove hasn't lost in two years. So they they've had a real good run of it, and it's a good group. Uh, just like our sophomores, their sophomores were 16 and 0 in the eighth and ninth grade. We feel very good about the future. Uh, all those groups, seventh, eighth, and ninth, they're all I think four and one or five and 0 the three teams. So. It's going to be fun around here for a while, we're thinking. I've had some of the fans mention to me, how does Coach Conant have a good team year in and year out? And I know you prepare, and there's a lot of pre preparation goes into every ball game. But from what I have been told, your program here mir mirrors many of the big Division I schools in college. So when a kid comes out of this program, he's ready to go. Well, I think in the, college, the, I mean. They're trying to maintain – uh, the consistency in a program is is very important from to, to have that control from the seventh grade on all, all the way up so that the kids know what to expect. They know the expectations that are here. And uh, that, I think, allows you sometimes when people may think you're going to have a little down year uh, to get through that uh, winning more games than you think you might. But first and foremost, you got to have good players. And mm -hmm. uh, there's no doubt about it. Wagner has good football players, good athletes kids that love to play the game. The community is very excited about football, and uh, the school system supports us. Uh, so all those things together, we have, uh, you know, I feel like I have some best assistant coaches around. I mean, they're so loyal, work very hard. Sure. And uh, all those are so many small factors that can come together and make a big difference. And that's, you know, all those things are going in the right direction for us. And, sure. And, uh, we, yeah, we, uh, we feel like we're the type of team that ought to be in the playoffs every year. And many times, the folks have to move for one reason or another. They're, they get transferred in their job or whatever. And if they've got a good athlete in the family, they're going to look around for a school that they could possibly put their child in. And I'll tell you what, you can't recruit in high school. <laughs> but if you've got a good program, that's worth a lot to a lot of people. It, it definitely doesn't hurt. We try to we try to pride ourselves on doing things right. And uh, we really like the school system here. You know, I, I moved here four years ago, and we have three children of our own, and uh, two of those are in our elementary schools, and it's been a great experience for us uh, from a parental standpoint. So, you know, we're at, Wagner's in a great location, and, and uh, it, you know, as a football fan, football coach, it's a great place to be. Let's sum it up in about five seconds or ten. What do you got to do to win the game tonight? Well, I think uh, being the most physical team. You know, this team, they're athletic, we're athletic. Who's going to be more physical? Turnovers and that will probably end up at the end of the night determining the outcome. I always ask you this, how's OU going to do? Uh, they said Bradford's not going to play, but uh, <laughs> I still? don't know that it will make a whole lot of difference because that, that, <laughs> that quarterback that they got, he did about as good as uh, Bradford could do. Well, you, you stole my, my line. I, did, I had not heard that Bradford wasn't going to play, but I, I really had felt all week that he wouldn't. Uh, those shoulder injuries don't go away easy. Uh, for anyone, much less a guy that's going to be throwing the football all night, plus getting hit by some guys that might be running a little faster than the average college team. And it team. Tebow so out too, so that I've heard kinda, that. Yeah. So, and uh, and as good as the freshmen's playing, I don't know that they would want to take that chance right now. So, mm -hmm. heck, I say we're we're going to go down there and get it done, even even with the freshman. He's playing pretty well. Coach, go out there and get it done tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.